Hello, welcome back. In this chapter, we're gonna add particles based on the line we created and add light source to these lines. And finally, we gotta input the character with animation from Mixmo. So let's get started. First thing first, we wanna rename our particle to particle lines because these are the lines we create and we're gonna create another geo, type geo and Great. We can name this as our particles because we want to use the lines as a source to emit our particles. So these two are the the lines are the source. The the particles are the particles from the lines. So let's dive inside. So first thing we want to do is use the object merge. We want to bring the lines to this context. So first thing you want to hide other objects so you won't see the ghost image of the lines. So let's go back to the object level and go to particle lines. And we can use the particles. Uh, I'm gonna use them here. So create a node here and call this line out we want to do it before the mirror because we want we want to emit our particles and then mirror it if we do it after the mirror the particles might not might not be mirrored as well so we want to use this part the left part and then we do the particle simulation and then mirror the particle simulation so let's copy the line out and go to particles and paste the line here. So now you can see we bring the line to the particles context. And to emit particles, we use our old friend pop network again. And this is pretty simple. So just connect to the pop network and put our view flag on the pop net. And let's calculate because I set out my frame on the frame 33. So let's go back to the first frame. And let's dive inside to the pop network. So let's select our source first input here. We want burst. Uh, we want more particles. So let's say fifty thousand here, and let's play. And we can disable the guide here, and go to the first frame. And now you can see these particles are are connected. So we want to add some force to break the particles. So let's let them to move more randomly. So what we can do is use a node called pop force. Pop force. So pop force. So it will add a wing to it. So let's say 0 0.35 and go to our camera view and go to first frame and play. And now you can see particles are like kind of swirly around have more force to affect these things and I think this is too much so we can use a pop drag so I'm gonna change the air resistance to 3 and connect to behind the pop force so it will add some drag to the particles so it will slow the particle simulation down a little bit so let's go to the first frame and play this again and you can see it's much better and we can go outside of our particle simulation and now we can add a mirror we put our view flag on the mirror now it's in the wrong direction so let's change to zero zero one and you can see it looks much better and also we want to add some colors to the particles so we can go inside to the pop network and add a pop card pop color connect the pop color to the after the pop drag and you can see it has a purple color on it let's go to the camera view we go to the first frame. 
So this color is a constant color. So we want to affect the color by the age of the particles. So you can change the color type from constant to ramp and change the color you want. So this means one particle be, uh, just spawn, it will be black. And as the time goes, it will turn white. So you can choose the color you want. So I'm going to choose a uh, orange color and choose maybe orange here and yeah, red here. So something like that. And go to the first frame and play. Yeah. So that's the effect I want. Let's stop this. Now we have our particle simulation finished. We want to add some light source at the end of each particle lines here. So what we do here is we are using the particle from our particle lines. So let's find it. So this is the particle we want to use. So let's create another node here and call it particle out. And go outside, create another tab called um, light source. And as and we want to bring our particles. So use the object merge here and paste the oh it's the line. So we want to go inside the lines, copy it particles and paste here so it's the particles and we want to create a sphere and change the sphere type to polygon and give it a lot of frequency and we can use a copy to point so the left input is the geometry which is our sphere and the right input is our target point which is our particles and now you can see it looks like this we can add a transform node here so we can change the uniform scale to 0.01 maybe 0.03 yes and add a node here quite out and now we go back to the object context level and we can go to our camera view to see what's what it looks like with all the effects. So we have fire, which we don't need to see it. We have particle lines, we have particles, which is the red one, and we have the light sauce. And we can go to first frame and play it. Yes. And in, for the light source, we forget to mirror the light source, so go to the light source after the copy to point, we want to have a mirror as well. So it's set to 0, 0, 001. Now the particle, the sphere is also, are also mirrored. And now let's go to camera view, go to first frame. Yeah, it looks much better. I think the sphere is still too big. So we can change the transform to 0, 0 0.2, I think. 0, 0.15. Yeah. I think it looks better. One more thing we need to do is for the particle lines, go inside and go to the mirror. We can see it's only a line here so it's not easier to for render engine to render line so we need to convert this to polygon so we can we can use a node called polywire which it can turn that into a polygon so connect and go to polywire you can see it looks like this it creates a rectangle uh, for each line, we can change the 
divisions to maybe eight so it's more like a tube more like a cylinder and we can change the wire radius to maybe 0 0.08 let's go to the camera view I think it's a little bit too big so let's say the 0 0.04 yeah so now these are polygons which you can render in mantra or other third-party render so now let's organize our uh, project for organize our project i mean like these four things are the same we use to create our effects i want nodes to uh, uh, only uh, responsible for renders so i'm gonna create a geo and let's call it render uh, and dr means render particle lights and we want to go here and create a now here call final out you want to grip grab this and go to the render particle lines and use object merge and in object tab we just paste it so we bring the result to the render uh, to the render node here so we can disable the lines here and we can disable the particle disable the light source so we're gonna create uh, each one uh, each render node for the effects here so and otherwise the particles so we're gonna just copy and paste here and this is called render particles and paste here this is gonna called render light source and we're gonna grab the out in the light source go to the render light source we're gonna paste here and same thing with the render particle we're gonna go to particles we're gonna use the now here called out and we're gonna copy the out here and go to the render particle and paste the result here and i like to color my render node to red so it's easier to visualize so press c on the keyboard and select the red no red color and these render part renders node are all red I think it's easier to work with is because you can select a node and you can see go to the render tab you can assign materials for each node here which is easier and you can just work your effects here and import the result to a separate node which is easier and more organized in this way now we're gonna create another node called let's type G let's call it render characters character we don't have character yet let's color this to red but we're gonna have it so now let's import our character with animation from Mixmo so this is Mixmo's website you can go to the character tab here and select a character you like so I'm gonna use this one, the Razor. And after you select the character, you can go to the animation, and you can select each uh, what whatever animation you like. I'm gonna select the I'm type set, and I'm going to use the setting idle. Uh, let me find. So I'm gonna use this one. And now you can download the animation here so go download we're gonna set our frame per second to 24 and just hit download make sure you download the uh, geo to your project path so i'm going to the particle geo and i'm going to download my fbx to here let's save it now let's go inside my project folder here so my path is uh, d drive fx021 and particle and geo so I, we can see the setting idle fbx here 
So let's go inside Houdini and import to the animation to Houdini. So now let's create another folder called Geo and name it to character. And we don't want to visualize this because we can import our result to our render characters here. So we can disable the view flag on this one. So let's go inside. We're going to use the FBX character import here. So in the FBX file, we go to the dollar job, which is our project path, and we go to the geo. And we can find our uh, FBX file. So select this one and set. And you can see our ca character in the scene. But let's go to first frame. Doesn't have any uh, animation on it. Because we download the character West animation, so we don't need to import the animation FBX file. The animation is already in the FBX file. So if you are using two separate files, like F FBX file and animation rig, you need to import both, but we already have both in one file so we don't we only need to import one file so now let's use the phone default and just connect these three inputs to the three inputs here and and now you can see we have the exact same uh, same animation from the mix mode and let's play it yeah so now we have our characters we can use them now here and call it up and copy it out here go to our render characters and use object merge to bring our character to here and now you can see uh, I think the position is wrong here so we can rotate him a little bit so let's add a transform node here and let's rotate uh, let's view the transform node and rotate 90 degrees here and go outside now you can see now the scene is almost finished so the last step is we want to add animation to our cameras so we can keyframe our cameras let's find our camera in the scene and select our cameras uh, we can animate our camera by out left click on our translate here and on our rotate here and go to our last frame here and we can lock our camera by selecting the lock icon here and, and make sure you are on our last frame and let's move let's move our camera to the position you like maybe here and out left click on the translate and out left click on the rotate and go to the first frame and let's see Uh, let's make sure before you go to the fr first frame you need to unlock the camera now you can see the animation I think that's everything for today uh, for the next chapter, I'm gonna talk about rendering, how to render in Mantra. You can use whatever third party render engine you like. So, let's see you in next chapter.